If you're trying to get pregnant or trying to avoid getting pregnant, you should be tracking your cycles. Most women have cycles that usually go for about 25 to 35 days, meaning from the start of one period to the start of the next, it will be 25 to 35 days. And most women tend to ovulate 14 days before they start their period. So let's just say your cycle was 28 days long on average. You'd probably be ovulating on about day 14. And that means that your body's releasing an egg that can be fertilized by sperm. And sperm lives uh, for about two to three days inside a female. And the egg takes a little bit of time to travel through your body. So um, if you're trying, to, again, if trying to get pregnant or not get pregnant, you either need to avoid or try to have sex during the most fertile time. And the most fertile time would be about three days before and three days after ovulation. So if you had unprotected sex the day after your period started, chances are you weren't ovulating, especially if you were still bleeding at that point. But whenever you're having unprotected sex, there's always a chance because you never quite know for sure when you're ovulating. So take the proper measures if you're trying not to get pregnant by using form forms of contraception if it's not your desire to get pregnant. Also make sure you're taking a prenatal vitamin, and if, it, if you're ever in doubt or suspect that you're pregnant, the best way to know for sure is by taking a test. And the over-the-counter tests are actually pretty sensitive, and you can usually know about a week after your period was missed if you're pregnant or not. Early signs of pregnancy usually tend to show up about the same time when an over-the-counter test would work, like around five to six weeks, um, or about a week or two after you've missed your period. So some women start to feel nauseated and vomit around that time. They feel like they have to pee a lot because the little growing uterus is starting to put pressure on the bladder. And you may also notice that your breasts are more tender. So again, if you ever suspect you're pregnant, just take a test. And if you're still unsure past that, especially if you have irregular periods, make sure to call your OBGYN provider and make an appointment they can see you and perform a more sensitive blood test or an ultrasound and decide how far along you are. If you have any other questions for me, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page and recommend us to your friends and family too.